Okay, I'm sorry about the first half of this video. It's a bit of a rant. Um, but it's essential that you understand the full picture, the full story. So watch the first part of this video and then we'll get into the good stuff. All right? So you may have noticed I haven't filmed any videos in quite some time. Well, there's a good reason for it. I'm moving my channel. If you look behind me, <clears throat> you can see that little yard sign right there. I'm moving back to Maine. Tider, Texas. Uh, I just don't have any inspiration here. I finally put the house on the market. Sold it. And we're getting out of here as soon as possible. And I'm heading back east. Um, matter of fact, in December 5th, I'm going to pick up the truck. Begin loading. <clears throat> and I should be on the road by the 6th. It's a long time coming. <clears throat> I can't get motivated. I can't find no inspiration here. There's so much. <laughs> Speaking of which, airplanes up there above me. There's so much noise pollution in these little neighborhoods. Not to mention, I'm sick of HOAs, but there's so much noise pollution. I can't come out here. You hear the air conditioning turn on and off. You hear school buses, the brakes from the school buses. People get up in the morning. My neighbors over here get up and they start their trucks and they go to work early. I get it. They have contracts to fulfill. They do landscaping stuff. They cut grass for utility companies. But I hear all that. Uh, they had a baby shower <laughs> over here the other day and they 30 cars lined the road from around that corner over here. 30 cars lined the road. And every time somebody closed a car door, it's like somebody throwing a wet paper towel at your window. So I, I'm done. I can't take it anymore. I hate suburbia. Not to mention we have an HOA that charges us. It's $100 a year, but still, it's $100 you're giving away and they don't really do much for us. They just now started to put in a park. Uh, the original HOA, when I first moved here, I got ripped off because I had to pay $750 for a swimming pool that they never built. And the guy from the original company, he skipped town. So yeah, we put the house on the market. It's sold. Um, houses in this area are going anywhere from 332.5 on up to, I think, the same house, which was the model house, had all the uh, bells and whistles that you could get. You know, the up upgraded metal, wrought iron balusters and rock walls and all kinds of crap. That one went for, I want to say, I thought, it, I think it was 375 So, big techs moving into Texas, which means tons of Californians. Um, everybody's moving here. Oregon, Michigan, everybody's coming here and it's it's really frustrating all these people are moving into this state bringing their political views and all the other stuff they're leaving the states <laughs> because of the political views and how they're breaking them financially only to come here with their same dumb ideas that's the true definition of a zombie if you ask me and, and bring some of their crap with them i don't want to talk it i don't care about politics i, I like youtube i'm going to continue i'm going to get on there my channel is going to go in a different direction some of you out there already know the direction because I've talked to you, but it's going to be interesting. I'm still going to do the creative filmmaking stuff, creative content, but it's going to be different, a lot different. And yeah, I get to leave here. <laughs> Don't have to deal with any more crap. The school over there behind me, as you can see over here, they cut their grass <clears throat> or their hay, as I call it, because it's not real grass. And it blows into your nice yard. Uh, this used to be Bermuda grass, but it's full of crab grass now because their stuff blows into my yard. I'm tired of spending money on chemicals. I'm tired of paying 24.8 cents a kilowatt for electricity when I can pay 8.1 in the state of Maine. Uh, I could probably power three houses on what I pay for electricity for this one. I think my last bill was, well, they've gone down now since it's cooler, but in August, I think we paid like $588. And the bulk of that was electricity. Yeah, it's utilities combined, but trash is only like 24 bucks a month. So I'm moving. This is the start. Uh, I've chosen to film this during golden hour. I'll try and do some of the road trip across the United States because I'm going to drive a U-Haul truck and I'm going to tow my Pathfinder. And I'm going to try and video the whole way. I'll try it. 
uh, may not work out because you know you got to be vigilant. You got to pay attention. I don't drive a truck every day. Um, I can drive it. I'm just saying I don't do it every day, and I'm not towing a trailer every day. So you have to be mindful of that too. So you know people like to weave in and out of traffic, and you don't. Those trucks don't stop as you know on a dime like your car. So I gotta leave some room between me and them, and just be extra cautious. And you know, there's gonna be a lot of idiots on the road, and I just gotta be extra cautious. So I'll try and get some road trip stuff, especially if I stop. But for the most part, yeah, the channel's moving. I'm moving, I'm gonna be much happier. I'm moving to a house that has eight acres surrounded by trees. So you're gonna, the only eruption is gonna be either the wind or the birds. And I think you can handle that. And I'll upgrade, I'm using my GoPro Hero 7 Black now, but I'll upgrade the camera um, to Canon 90D and it'll be much better. But this is what I'm doing right now. So we'll see on the flip side, I'm gonna start me like I said I'll do some of the see, see what I mean you can't do a video without somebody driving by there's another contractor he's been in here like every day this week I don't know what he's working on maybe he's doing a roof there's some roofs being done down there I just put a new roof on this one new sprinkler system replace the, the, the fans in the back just just what I need to do to get it done and I'm done with it I can't wait uh, I miss Maine, I miss the ocean, I miss my parents, my sisters, and I won't miss the Texas heat. I'm not a hot weather person, I grew up in Maine. It's cold there, but I love it because it keeps people away, all right? So I'm sorry I haven't been producing content, I just can't find the motivation anymore. This place drains you daily. I mean, essential stuff like, I got four kids I have to take care of, right? We got to go to school, get up in the morning, pack lunches, all that good stuff, walk them to school, drive them, whatever. And then to top it off, we're packing. Um, we've been contemplating this move for a long time. And now we have the money to do it because we sold the monster house that we bought for two, two something. And, and now we're, we're, we have enough money to finally realize our dreams. So that's what we're going to do. And that's where we're going to be happiest. So you're going to see much more motivation out of me and my sons who are going to be doing their own YouTube channels because that's what I want them to focus on, creating content, not worrying about the problems of the world or the pandemics or anything else. It's all garbage. Focus on the content and start producing it regularly. It's hard for me to do here. Like I said, this, this place is just so demotivating. Look what I see. Oh, it's a nice neighborhood. Sure but it's boring and it's noisy. You hear that? Listen, you hear music? The guy over there in the house behind us who just moved in playing music loud. These people down here playing music loud and it doesn't necessarily have to be a party. It's just some people are just that way. They're prone to do it. I'm really tired of this and I'm, I'm out of here. I need the peace and quiet so I can focus. Um, that's not to say that I won't produce content in public over there. What it's to say is that I'm tired of living in a um, noise polluted area. I'm just tired of it. I can't deal with it anymore. Nor can I deal with the high property tax and the even higher utility bills. So, oh, they charge you for rain runoff. Look at my roof. They charge you for rain runoff, $6.50. But most of the water they get is from the lake over here, huge either. And you, you can't water on Mondays and you have to water based on your house number you have to water either even or odd if you're obviously an odd number you water on the odd days it doesn't make no sense you're charging me for rainwater that runs off my roof but we don't get that much rain 650 for that six dollars fifty cents for that a dollar good neighbor fee which was supposed to have been optional but they don't tell you about that part uh, until you complain so they've been getting a dollar out of me and a hundred thousand other people every single month for I don't know how many years. I don't know. It's disgusting. I'm tired of it. I'm gone. Happiness will be <laughs> Georgetown, Texas in my rearview mirror. And unless you're into big tech, like Facebook, Google, or YouTube, or Apple, and you're going to get a job down in Austin, which is going to push all those people out, just like they did in San Jose. That's what my buddy Brian down there with the gray pickup truck. I don't know if you can see it or not, way down there. 
he moved here from San Jose because this is an investment for him. He's going to sell his house in five years and he'll probably have $650,000 because property values are going to skyrocket simply because it's the same thing that happened in San Jose. Big tech comes in, they beef up the city, they pay for trains. Austin's supposed to get a, a public transport thing there that nobody wants, but the big tech's going to help them afford it. Plus they're going to raise taxes on the people, the little people that they got to wear masks, right? Anyway. That's what they're that's what's going on here if you want to make a lot of money come here and buy a house stick it out for five years and you'll make your money you'll double it and you'll be able to sell the house and probably build or pay cash for another one where where you want to live me as for me i'm going to live where i want to die i don't want to be someplace that i hate and i hate it i hate it here and i don't hate texas as a whole i just hate georgetown i'm tired all of right it. so what did i trade all of that headache and noise pollution in Texas for? Well, look around me. Can you see everything behind me? Sorry, the sun's probably right in your eyes, but let's, let's go over this way a little bit. I've got uh, my own trash can, right? whoop de doo but that's so I can have my trash picked up instead of just little cans that I had in Georgetown. I also have a company I'm getting rid of called Amerigas because they refuse to deliver propane when I needed it. Uh, I had just signed up with them on the 29th. Uh, my tanks were down to 30 pounds each, like probably 60 pounds total. And we just moved in on the 17th of December. And I'm like, I'm kind of low, I have small children. I'd like to get some propane. They didn't come fill the tanks. And so I said, I don't need you. So I got rid of them. But uh, as I was saying, this is what I've traded everything. Look behind me, that's our rental car. This is the car we just picked up, a Subaru Outback 2017, fully loaded. And then of course I've got the Nissan, I gotta put snow tires on. But this is what I've traded for, look, look around. I've got eight acres of woods, a house on eight acres of woods. So I've got all this, there's a whole bunch in the back back there. I mean, uh, uh, it's, it's peace and quiet. Let's go get some pastries downtown. Get some pastries. This is Main Street downtown. There's the water right there. Oh. Let me grab my mask. All right, got the mask on. Let's go inside. Good morning. You guys mind if I film in here? No, I don't know. So. I'm just doing, just doing my YouTube video. This is Mammy's Italian Bakery. As you can see, they have quite a selection. Just say, say hello. <laughs> What's your name again? Jessica. Jessica. And? Sherry. And Sherry. These are the lovely ladies that make all these pastries. <laughs> and I've come down to get my favorite, which is right here. <laughs> I won't butcher the, the words. I think it's Svogliatelle. But I'll get, uh, let me have, uh, let me get three of those. That's pretty good. This is one of the best pastries that, that they make here. I really, really love it. And the only way I can describe it is, remember when you were a kid and you had that orange popsicle in the summertime 
and the popsicle was so good that you chewed on the stick for about a half an hour afterwards. That's the way this tastes. That's the aftertaste that leaves your mouth. So it's very pleasant memory and very pleasant pastry. So when you come to Maine and you go through Wiscasset, as every tourist does, because you're all going up the coast on Route 1, make sure you stop here and get you some pastries. Look, look, I'm surrounded by water here. It's, there's there's tons and tons of water here. It's really beautiful. I'm gonna go back up this way. I'm trying to avoid. Uh, it's sometimes hard to get out on the main road because of the the traffic. But look at these beautiful, picturesque scenes over here. Oh, I guess I can go down here. Look how beautiful that is out here. You've got all these little bits of water here and there. There's different streets out here, Pleasant Street and that. But you can come down here. I'm gonna come down here and fly the drone because I think it's a really beautiful location. It's quiet. And that's the Castle Tucker Mansion on the hill. Uh, I guess that guy wanted a quiet place to have his mansion. And that's where he put it. This is also the way I came down from the library, which is also a really nice old building. It has a lot of, uh, there's a lot of charming old buildings here in, in this town. So the Castle Tucker, as you can see, it's uh, 1807, it's historic New England. So maybe I'll take a tour of that one day and, and I'll film it so that everybody can see it. Uh, I'm gonna take this other road down here. you'll be able to take it out. There's a lot of historic homes in this town. Really historic old ones. They usually have a placard on them that says uh, the year the house was built, who built it or whatever. Look at even Victorians. Really old Victorians. So it's how, this, this has a uh, there's a bed and breakfast here, the high note. And there's a lot of these little New England quaint little New England homes and there's some modern stuff too. Oh wow, that comes out right by the Clipper Mart, which is easy for me to get to my house. Because there's the red brick building again. I think I'll take that way more often. That's a nice detour from all of the, the main street down there. The main street gets kind of congested. Um, you got big trucks going through on the way to Dan Mariscada and all them other places. Here's our local police department. I think we have two cars. Oh look, an army generator. That's their backup system, isn't that nice? That's where you go to register your car. I have to go in there and register my Nissan. All right. There's plenty of homes for sale here. Dunham Real, real Estate. So if you're looking for local real estate agents or local real estate companies, check out those websites. Tim Dubor, Dunbar, whatever his name is. Um, not everything is on realtor.com. There's another historic house, 1828, that white house there. The thing about having a historic property here, like anywhere, is you have to get approval. You gotta get permission from some council to do anything to your house, and it has to be done, has to be as authentic as possible, and that costs lots of money. So, if you're thinking about buying a historic home here in Maine, you better have lots of money, all right? You got money to burn, go for it. If not, it's your regular house. Here's my local gas station. This lady moved here from Arizona about two years ago. And she uh, she did, uh, her and her husband just picked up and moved back up here and, and set up a business. And uh, they just love Maine. They love it because it's quiet and a beautiful place to live. And that's what they wanted. They wanted peace and quiet, just like me. That's the whole reason why I moved back here. I wanted peace and quiet, and I didn't want to have to deal with headaches and, and everything else. And, and there's the Morris Farm stand. And there's our local uh, Wiscasset Veterinary Hospital, which is nice. If something happens to your animals, you can take them right over there. And this is uh, coming up on the left is my, my kid's school. So they have the uh, uh, Wiscasset Middle High School. It's a middle high school. It's in between, I guess. Two of my children will be going to this one. Uh, a 
another great benefit of living where I live right now. Remember when I told you in the first part of this video where I was ranting about not having a pool? The Worcester Cassett Rec Center down in there, I don't know if you can see it or not, um, they have an indoor pool, an Olympic size indoor pool. They got basketball courts, all that stuff. There's the kids' school. I'm sorry, I'm, I drove by it too fast. But they have all that, so I'm not missing out on it. I have access to it, and it's great. I'm really, really pleased about it. And so, not getting a pool when I lived in an HOA after paying 750 bucks and getting ripped off because the guy skipped town with the money. Uh, this kind of more than makes up for it, so it's nice. I sanded this last night, this top part of the road. I might get some more and put some more down. I need to make sure the Nissan gets out so I can get snow tires on it, but <clears throat> the only way that's gonna happen is if I put more sand down. I put a little bit down here. I put a little bit more here last night. I'm trying to keep it sanded. This was, this was really slick and icy yesterday, and I've gotta come down this hill, so I'm trying to put as much sand down on this part right here. It's kind of treacherous. This is four wheel, all wheel drive and yeah, four wheel, same thing. And uh, you see how slick it is and how it's sliding. But not as bad as the, Nis the Nissan. The Nissan's kind of heavy and it doesn't have snow tires on it. So it's all over the place. But yeah, this is it. This is the dream. This is what I traded. This is what I traded, a house in landlocked suburbia with 24.8 cents a kilowatt for. I traded this house here. Sure, there are some setbacks. Um, there are some negatives, such as uh, I might have 8.1 cents a kilowatt for electricity, but my propane is, the house is heated by propane. It's forced hot water, which means I've got like a Bosch burner unit downstairs in the basement. I'll show you more of the house once I get fully moved in. Um, we're still unpacking. Just, yeah, it's chaos. Be asking, is, was it worth it? Well, I made it to Virginia in one night uh, and then Maine the next night. Um, after I parking the truck at my sister's place, she rushed me to the airport so I could make my 730 flight, which I did make. And I took off after they de-iced my plane. Um, upon landing in Georgia, I had to change trains uh, to, to get to my next gate. Uh, I made it all the way back to Texas only to do this all over again in a minivan with two dogs, a cat, and my son. Oh yes, I made certain to park my truck outside my house because the weatherman forecasted 18 inches of this the next day. So was it worth it? I think so. And my family does too.